you know, just in this one photo al album. This one photo album here. Photo album. <laughs> Exhibit A. Just in this one photo album. I can see myself being cooked. I can just I can just see little bits of the whole picture. I mean here is a photo of me doing a story on the teddy bear's picnic or maybe I just you know went along to you know show my celebrity face at the teddy bear's picnic and you know there I am holding up the teddy bear with the bandaged head and and you know, now I look at teddy bears and I just instantly think pedo bear. I just think of their relationship to pedophilia. This is Simon Townsend's Wonderworld Christmas special is more down to earth on Christmas Island. Reporters Wednesday Kennedy and Hugh Munro cape around with entertaining stories. Islands of Wonder. Christmas Day on Christmas Island. Sounds perfect. Simon Townsend thought so and decided it was also worth dedicating a whole show to the island. See the wonders at the Wonderworld reporters Hugh Munro and Wednesday Kennedy write uncovered on special Christmas Day on Christmas. Four hilarious stories packed with information, fun and fantasy, Simon said. Wednesday stalks the jungle, dressed as an adventurous explorer and dodging killer crabs, which can crack coconuts with their claws. Watch out for the Thong Beach discoveries and catch the duo's reenactment of the Robinson Crusoe saga, where poor old Hugh is shipwrecked and washed up on the shores of Christmas Island. He is rescued by none other than Girl Wednesday, Simon says with his famous chuckle. Where do all the refugees end up when they ship? They end up on Christmas Island. It's just like predicted programming or something. Look at me in that ridiculous leopard skin outfit. Look at the lamb chop. And then I left that and I went into theatre. And um, uh, one of the plays that I did was the Beckett selection, a rare selection of Sam Samuel Beckett's short plays, appropriately titled The Beckett Selection, continues an extended season at the Balmain Loft Cafe at 371 Darling Street, Balmain. The program stars Wednesday Kennedy, Terry Ryan, Amy Lee Taylor and John Rado, and can be seen 9pm every Wednesday and Thursday. Now what's interesting about that is John Rado is definitely a handler, programmer, and um, you know, that's another story, but... And then so is Amy Lee Taylor. Um, and, you know, so I can only assume Terry Ryan, the gay guy in that, was, you know, as well, not necessarily. You know, sometimes they'll bring in a, an innocent. You know, and here's the play, the plays by Samuel Beckett. Act without words, one. Catastrophe. Play. Come and go. So in all of these, there's um, three, three people. So there's the number three again. Here's a Satanist Beckett, but anyway. Yeah, the actor, the assistant, the director in Catastrophe, the wife, the husband, the mistress in play. V, Ru, Flo, in Come and Go. Um, Beckett writes about human distress, not human despair. He has taken man's situation and mankind's misfortune to the nth degree and made men survive in conditions which normally would lead any man to commit suicide, where death would be a welcome relief. Well, if this isn't predictive programming, what is? There is a kind of lust for death and yet a zest for life, a strange paradox that runs through much of his work. The 
We gratefully acknowledge the assistance of Marionette Theatre of Australia, Northside Theatre Company. Once again, we're reminded how gutless Sydney's mainstream theatre is. Blah, 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 blah. Cast of four, two directors, Amy Lee Taylor, John Rado. Short quartet, volume, Balmain Loft. You know, this is just amazing because it's all about being targeted. Act without words. Terry Ryan, who appears in all four items, is every man struggling against the perplexities and paradoxes of cruel world. He is continually thwarted, rejected and deceived. Tick, tick, tick. But then he... But even though he's denied hope, he refuses to give up. Fear of failure chastens him, but he perseveres. Catastrophe actor manipulated by an arty director and his assistant. Genuine human response is denied the performer. This sense of denial is amplified in play. This might as well be predictive programming. And as it turned out, all these people were in it. Amy Lee Taylor went on to become um, an S&M mistress, but she also ran a children's drama school with her husband. So, you know, ran drama school during the day, s and mistress of a night time. Um, Rado went to uh, Budapest and um, just ended up running around with the gypsy criminals there before he came back. They're all crims, man. Okay. Love triangle recounted from three overlapping viewpoints which in lesser hands would be a super distilled master soapy, but the acting here is first class with Wednesday Kennedy vacillating marvellously between sharpness and brittle desperation. He deals with processes and concepts first, creating environments in which they can be assayed rather than relying on situations. They revolve, nevertheless, around ordinary enough people and are far more recognisable on an instinctual and intellectual level. Okay. And this is me, in play, playing the mistress. And we all had our own spotlight. So, we, like, we were sort of isolated. We were isolated and we were sort of speaking um, about each other but not to each other. So there was this sense of us all being in our isolation tanks. And, you know, a lot of the shows that I was in around that time used this same sort of tableau, three people, you know, each playing a different part of the one person or, you know, playing the wife, mistress, husband. Um, very... Okay, so there's another picture that somebody drew of me. One night in the piccolo bar, people were always drawing pictures of me. Vacillating marvellously between champagne, uh, between what? Something and brittle desperation. I think that's a quote from one of my reviews I got. So. Unknown artist. You see, what they do is they draw pictures of you and they either put a spell in that picture or they do something with it. They take it home and they degrade it. Um, art has been a big part of my um, magic or the magic that was um, done on me. See, look at this card. It was for an opening night for the show. This was given to me by... Catherine, I think, John Rado's wife at the time. Um, Dear Wednesday, have a great show. 
All the hard work will pay off tonight. Love, Catherine, knock them dead. But isn't that interesting? There's a mirror in front of the face. Polka dot dress. Dear Wednesday, I want to tell you that not only have I enjoyed your performance the other night, but that we both think you are so talented. We know you'll do well, but we also know how important it is for people to support you. All the best. Inez and Leo. 89. That's just probably nice. You know, not everybody was horrible. Some people were nice. <laughs> and I was talented. <gasps> that wasn't a lie. I always told you that you were star. 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 Gosh. If only we knew what that really meant. Star. Oh, there's a star. But what's that circle in the star? What's that? Hmm? Green dots are like butterflies. Happy birthday, my all your dreams come true. Much love, Tracy. On the back of it, on my birthday card, is um somebody in a some guy in a collar. Here boy. So there's a slave, right? They're already telling me on my birthday what's gonna happen. Oh, and he, look at the card. Here we have Madonna. The original whore of Babylon, but she's got butterfly wings. You know, they're trying to tell me something way back here. This was 1980s, this was. Spider Woman. Oh, Jessica Rabbit. There you go. I'm not bad, I'm just made that, I'm just drawn that way. I think this is all a coincidence? I don't think so. Uh, because there are people like Samantha Fox, people forget there are women doing substantial things. Right. Possum Records. Substantial things. That's to make me feel good about myself. What's that? Never gonna be the... Supergirl. And he's like, oh, there's Jane Fonda. In, um... I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, and what's behind Supergirl? A big hand. Right? There's that helping hand, that midnight man again. So I think that's pretty much all there in my birthday card. Um, I don't know when that would have been. Maybe late 1980s? Miss Pisces. Miss Dreamboat. Here is a perpetual little girl. Lost confusion is part of her everyday affairs and she's easily hurt and taken advantage of by others. Pisces need a strong shoulder to lean on, has no trouble finding one. Guys flock to a side, fantasy girl for a while, until she frightens her away with too many tears and fears. Her appealing vulnerability is her weakness and her greatest strength. Very pretty and feminine, heart stealer and breaker. Blah, blah, blah. Ha! Huh. You can also tell a Pisces girl because she's the one who's psychic, making voluntary self-sacrifices, playing great music, suffering from vagueness, sleeping in the afternoons, living by the sea, playing around with seances. 
retreating into a dreamlike existence with abstract philosophies, trying many forms of meditation, living for love, consuming romantic novels, surrounding herself with flowers. There we have the fish. So I think this Tracy, I can't remember which Tracy this was. But there we are. There's my birthday card. Another rejection letter. William Morris Agency. It was a bit delusional me thinking they'd take me, but anyway. Stranger things have happened. I mean, at least they wrote nice letters in those days. They don't write those sorts of sorry, we're not interested letters anymore. They just don't ring a bell. 